This is a deer hide that I prepared for the brains. Even though it's raw hide, it's still flexible using freezing methods. Very flexible. Take this and crush it into the brains. It'll absorb the brain immediately. Almost immediately. See, the oil, it's been an hour, more than an hour, it's still pretty warm. You can never do that with a rawhide that you just tack up. I mean, look at that. It goes right in. Look at that. And that, I mean, it hasn't been in for more than five seconds, and it's already totally absorbed and, and, and become flexible. That's the difference. With, between just letting it dry like rawhide and freezing it in sub-zero temperatures. Look at that, it's already, it's, it's there. I already absorbed it, absorbed it like a sponge. Now, haha, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that. And now, <laughs> hide number two, the, the next hide. Hold that up to the light. I don't know if you can see the texture in this hide. Yeah, you can see the freezing texture that changes the height of it. Hold it up to the light, too. It's really, it's really apparent right there. Right there. Put it up so the light shines through it. I mean, it even makes a sound. Put your finger down it. So it's made this incredible texture. Uh, no, that's not going to do it, dude. I'm just seeing. Oh, maybe it will. There's some like little pieces of grass stuck on it. Okay, here. Ready? Again, take this hide that's been tacked out in sub zero temperatures. Look, even the sides are flexible. Let me just crush it now. Push it down to the brain. As soon as gets wet, it's gone. Oh, looky, there's a nail. Oh, it's still in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's paint from the wall that I tacked it to. Some glues from the hide. Make the paint stick to the hide. Tear the paint off the wall. That's all there is to it. How long does it soak now? Overnight. We're actually going to have to probably take it out, work it, and put it back in tomorrow morning. It's part of the process.